So the Mueller report found no evidence of Trump collusion. There were no charges of obstruction. But Democrats still debating whether or not to impeach the president. If the special counsel, as he made clear, had found evidence exonerating the president, he would have said so. He did not. Now, Congresswoman Ocasio-Cortez, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, saying that she'll sign on to an impeachment resolution, while the number two House Democrat, Steny Hoyer, says impeachment is not worth it. Well, our next guest led the charge in the impeachment process against President Bill Clinton in the 90s. Now, as a message for the Democrats, here with more, former Speaker of the House, Newt Gingrich, also a Fox News contributor, of course, and host of a brand new podcast, Newt's World. Good morning, Mr. Good morning. Speaker. It's good to be with you guys. Well, how do you, uh, di yeah, how do you digest this report? Go for it. No, I mean, first of all, it may surprise you, but I agree with Steny Hoyer. <clears throat> My experience in the late 90s, we had a report from Ken Starr, which said explicitly, you can pull it up, it's a public document. It says President Clinton is guilty on 11 counts. Five of them said he's guilty on obstruction. Now, you take 11 counts of guilty, compare it to the Mueller report, which does not allege any criminal guilt of any kind, and Starr's talking about criminal guilt. Mm. We took that, and the country, at the end of the debate, said, you know, we're more worried about the economy, we're more worried about health care, we don't think this rises to the standard of removing a president. And I would say that Steny Hoyer is more correct than I was back then. I thought it was appalling that we had a president who had broken the law on 11 different counts. He did lose his license to practice law uh, in Arkansas. He was clearly guilty. Uh, but, but at the same time, the country rendered a larger judgment. Now you're in a different situation entirely. Mueller came back and said two years. Remember, 12 of his lawyers were career Democrats. Mm. One was a Republican. None of them gave any money to Trump in his campaign. So he had a pretty heavily stacked deck. If they could have found him guilty, they were going to find him guilty. They spent two years. And they couldn't find, I think, 500 witnesses. They couldn't find him guilty. So at some point, you got to, you know, give it up. And, and frankly, the biggest thing that comes out of the details is that the president is a very aggressive entrepreneur. Uh, if you take his relation with Don McGahn, for example, <clears throat> the president's pushing. He's shoving. That's what entrepreneurs do. But every single time he was told you can't do that, he didn't do it. And so... Yeah. What you now have is a report that shows you how the president was thinking, but, but he didn't do anything. I don't blame the president for aggressively Isn't trying to figure to out how to end this. Isn't he allowed to do that? Isn't he allowed to think? I mean, think about the, the deep state or the investigators <laughs> not, that were thinking about wearing a microphone. They talked about it, and they didn't. Look, not, not according to the New York Times and the Washington Post and CNN and MSNBC. I mean, they take this, this I think... Admirable behavior, which you see him on foreign policy, you see him on the economy. Uh, this is a Trump is a very aggressive, very intelligent guy who's pushing the margins. He thought he was elected to change things, so he's trying to change things. Don McGahn deserves a lot of credit because he stood his ground. He said, right. "You know, Mr. President, you can't do this." And the president said, "Well, Don, I mean, if you really think I can't do it, I guess I won't do it." So it's the opposite of Nixon and Watergate. This is the story of the president who obeyed the law, the president who did what was right. Mm -hmm. And I think the Democrats will presently look silly. I mean, I, I fully expect people like Ocasio-Cortez uh, to be nutty and deranged and out of touch with reality. That, that's their role. But I think the average Democrat is going to pretty rapidly decide right. this is not a very sound direction to go in. I don't know one Republican that has jumped ship. Uh, the ones that would have have jumped out of Congress, it seems. But here's what uh, here's the House uh, Judiciary Chairperson, uh, Gerald Nadler. He demands that Mueller now testify. His, uh, the exact verbatim is the Mueller report outlines disturbing evidence that President Trump engaged in obstruction of justice and misconduct. Just imagine what remains hidden from our view. So he wants Mueller to testify, and we know Barr is coming out on the 1st and the 2nd of May. Your thoughts? Well, I, look, let him testify. I, I, don't, I don't have a problem with that. I mean, let him come in and say, hey, I spent two years, interviewed 500 people, had an entire team of lawyers, spent $25 million. It ain't there. I, I think my guess is that Mueller will be a pretty impressive witness. But he'll be a witness for ending the process. But, but look, at, look at poor Jerry Nadler's problem. 
I mean, the left wing of his party is going berserk. They all want to find a way to, to keep this up. Mm. His presidential candidates are going berserk. Mm. He can't, as chairman, not look like he's doing something, or they'll frankly take away his chairmanship. Yeah, Mr. That, Speaker. That's the dance in the House right now. Mr. Speaker, one of the dramatic parts of the report is this uh, idea that in the Oval Office, when he found, finds out that there's been a special counsel named the president, blisters the attorney general, Jeff Sessions, why didn't you protect me, uh, and says, I'm effed, among other things. Uh, some critics thought that meant that he was admitting guilt. Instead, the report suggests the president was saying, look, I'm going to be crippled here for a couple years. This happens with every independent counsel. Uh, and so my question is, take that and push us forward. Now that maybe this cloud is lifted, what do you think this president can accomplish in the next two years? Well, let's remember what he has accomplished already. Enormous change in the judges. A huge number of conservative judges have been appointed and with Mitch McConnell's leadership have been gotten through the Senate. <clears throat> Tremendous deregulation, biggest in history, liberating the economy. Huge tax cuts, which have led the economy to grow. Lowest unemployment rate for African Americans in history. Lowest unemployment rate for Latinos in history. Lowest unemployment rate for women in history. Income starting to rise. I mean, here's a guy who, while he has 90% negative press coverage and he has an ongoing investigation, he just plows ahead. So I think you have to assume right. now that he has been exonerated in every possible way, he's going to be stronger. His reelection is going to be more likely. People around the world are going to accommodate him. They're going to start saying, you know, right. I got I got to deal with this guy through 2024. You're the expert. Uh, that you're is the, an enormous change from a week ago. You're the political expert, but if I'm the president, I would just stay out of the nitty gritty. This is done. This is in my rearview mirror. Moving ahead. It does no good to relitigate any of these situations. <laughs> but what are the chances of that? <laughs> Well, first of all, I think if the president wants to relitigate, he ought to say, how come they're not investigating uh, what the Obama administration failed to do? It knew from 2014 on that the Russians were trying to affect our election. Yeah. Apparently, in order to appease Iran and get the Iranian deal, they didn't want to deal with the Russians. And apparently, yeah. some senior Obama people said flatly, cut it off, don't look at it, don't pay attention. Yep. That's a huge dereliction of duty. No Second, doubt. I think they ought to be looking at, at and, and Barr has said he will, how many of these guys were breaking the law by leaking things that were false? Those leaks I are mean, now going to be investigated, Mr. Speaker. senior FBI. Yeah, we got to run. We appreciate you coming in, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Thank if you, you need more new, uh, listen you. to his podcast, please. <laughs> we always need more new. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> Meanwhile.